Welcome to Sponsored by Nobody. This week, sponsored by Reality. We're currently in it, live and for realsies. Like, actually not just over the interwebs. We're live today. It's fun to have people close to me again. I'm touching him. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Yeah, we're in September 2023. I am Ian... And we have, I, I'm the firefly. We're not firefly. You're, you're I'm the narrator. That's what this is called. Uh, I'm Austin, and I am undecided as of yet. I am Taylor. I'm going to be a new part of this group, and I am undecided as well. <laughs> I'm Dylan, and you already know that I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, You'll know Taylor from our Wild Sea campaign. He cameoed once or twice? Once. Once. Yeah. Um, And this campaign, because I haven't introduced it yet, but you will have read it, I assume, on the little paragraph description I eventually do for this. This is Mistborn. Something title in the works. We're going to make a good title for this. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's that's what this episode is. This is the figuring it out episode. We're going to talk. We're going to figure some out, uh, build some characters. This is kind of, I don't know. We're trying something new here because we're in person. So we figured we'd make some content. Um, get it done. Yeah. I Oh, careful jiggling the table. I'm getting... There we go. We'll see. <laughs> that's fair I will um, jiggle all I please <laughs> all that I okay. say okay so we're gonna use I think we've we looked a little bit online we haven't looked too deeply at stuff character creation or like anything but um we found obsidian portal has a like step by step how to build a character so we're gonna start with that so step one start with the crew at the heart of every mistborn story is a crew they're your friends. They're helping you. They do things. They're cool. Um, so sit down and discuss uh, what your crew's common cause is. What is your guys's? What What are you trying to accomplish? What binds you together? Conquer the ruling power. <laughs> <laughs> not like like literal uprising. That's not a no. Like this setting definitely has people who are all for uprisings. That is that is. I feel like that's our crew's cause. Yeah, no, it's like, like the, the coup. Ass- the coup. Yeah, assist assist the coup. <laughs> yeah, now, jo- join the rebel allegiance. Is there um, like so the whole story? There's already a rebel group underway. So yeah, for listeners who know the Mistborn saga. Um, not us. No, <laughs> I read the first two books at this point. Throw me in, <laughs> um, coach. Coach, put me in. Um, yeah, no, I read the first two books, and that's about as far as. I, and I've watched a synopsis on the third. Um, so don't at us for our canonicity. <laughs> but yeah, we're playing basically. You guys are like starting at the start of book one it's kind of what i'm essentially but what i'm trying to like you know so like, has there already been a rebellion no so yeah or as, really, as yeah. of book one the rebellion exists but it's very small it's not very well organized it's kind of haphazard and <clears throat> it doesn't it doesn't have a lot of meat to it as book one progresses, spoilers, the rebellion gets better. Um, I don't know if that's quite spoilers, but I'm going to say that. It, it gets better. So you guys, with the assumption of you guys, as you progress through the storyline, suddenly there'll be more and more resources because the rebellion is helping you. Ba-do. Fun little <coughs> bit on that later if we end up doing it. If we don't, then this was all a fake out. Uh. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, classic misdirection. Oh, well, welcome to Mistborn X Wild Sea. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Well, we already did the crossover with um, uh, one of the fellowship at the end of season. Oh yeah, yeah, we did fellowship in Wild Sea. <laughs> That's fair. Um, so yeah, your crew's common cause is to take down the government. <coughs> Full on rebellion. 
I'm going to put down ruin powers that be. I don't get that much space. <laughs> That's fair. Well, ruin powers that be is longer than rebellion. Rebellion. You didn't say rebellion. You said like rebellion against the government. Rebellion. That's a lot of there was a, there was a subtext to that. <laughs> it, was, it was hyphenated in Down brackets. Down with gov. <laughs> Down with the government. Excellent. Um, who is your crew's primary target? Crews often choose a particular individual, organization, or establishment uh, to target. So who who do you... Yeah. In, in this case, if we're doing it like the book, would that be the final empire? Yeah. Yeah, you guys could like... You could aspire to be like, yeah, we're good enough to take down the actual like empire. Or you could be like, no, nah, we are not that good. We're going to take down like this num- right hand guy that's b team energy we already did that <laughs> I f- this one keep feels kind of like one of those like you know in lord of the rings in all the spin-off series like each of the heroes that are in those spin-off games are vital to what they did they just mm-hmm. added to the canon yeah it feels like kind of like one of those like yeah the main story is happening and that's important but we but without facil- you guys yeah, but without mentioned we help facilitate yeah. like, everyone in the background all the unmentioned characters on Un- fac- heroes yeah, yeah. all help facilitate that plan. oh yeah okay yeah. That okay that's good but, so your um, primary target is the lord ruler not to be confused with uh the lord ruler the, the the from the Lego, the Lord Ruler. Oh yeah, you. That right. was his name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the Lord Ruler of Mistborn is not to be confused with the Lord Ruler from the Lego movie. Unless this is our first PG campaign. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> that's canon. There's a high possibility that tomorrow's episode will be recorded while Theo is in the background watching a show because, I the way life worked out, we didn't make a trip. And so we're at home because mm. we were supposed to be in Kelowna. Right. But we ended up staying home because of fire. It's yeah. bad. We no. hope everybody's okay. Yeah. Lots of, um, lots of good vibes towards Kelowna yes. and all the fires. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so we couldn't make it out there. So we're recording at home. And yeah, so children <laughs> might be around tomorrow. So it might end up being a PG series, which is wild because... This one I have you guys deliberately making two characters because someone will die. <laughs> and we literally played a campaign that we were children. Yeah. And that was not the PG campaign. <laughs> we're not. I don't know if we're doing this well, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Setting ourselves up for success out the gate. We got this bar. Yeah. yeah. Austin, you're lying on the ground and just rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hugging the bar. Yeah. Just hold me, bar, Sama. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Uh, so what is your cruise, your cruise preferred method? Oh, that's dyslexia for you. Um, do they tend to wage open warfare or do you use deception do you use uh, diplomacy, schemes, theft? Uh, are you like... You're just filling my head with ideas. Yeah, random point. random targets or very like <coughs> picked targets? Targets of opportunity, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. To gonna get a cinnamon confidence. Bus. What is but it? It's... Or Do we imply a varied approach? Because we have multiple characters. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, maybe a... Because we're kind of like jack of all it's, trades. It's a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's a li- little bit of everything. So we'll be opportunist. I think tankers. that's the best one, is opportunist. Yeah. I think that's a great description. So method opportunist. We have varied skill sets, so we take advantage whenever, whenever they're the best, best used. But what do we name our crew? Oh, is that next? Well, I mean, it's one of the boxes on this page and it isn't filled out. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be like, here's how you decide the name of your crew. It's like, yeah. you know what it is? It's a pun. It's, well, it's, a pun. it's, all it's pun. always a pun. Of all, it's always, it's a, always pun. a pun. <laughs> um, foghorn? Because we're Mistborn? <laughs> <laughs> not, no. we're, no, we're not, not actually, no. though. 
Mm, yeah, none of you guys true. are missed one. I, I feel like I, you, oh, you missed that one. So nice. players are allowed to create um, the types of characters are you can be a, a ska, like with no powers. You can be a ska noble hybrid with no powers, or you can be a noble with no powers, or you can be a terrorist man with no powers. Um, those are the no powers class groups. The no powers groups get extra like resources and kind of connections and traits and an extra trait or two, I think, um, which is pretty cool. And then you can be part of the powered groups and the powered groups are the Allomancers, the Pharaoh chemists and the Chondra. Um, I'm not going to explain what some of those are because, oh, you can be a Mm -hmm. hemallergist as well. Um, yeah, but some of that gets into spoiler territory. For, mimicry is what the conjure do. Yeah, mimicry is what the conjure do. Yeah. Um, so those are the four groups. Within the Allomancers, obviously you can be a Mistling or a Mistborn. Uh, Mistlings can use one ability. Mistborns use all the abilities. So now they come at a reduced cost but or reduced power. But there's... Um, I've talked to the guys and we've kind of agreed that we're not going to do any Mistborns until later in the series, potentially, like later in the episodes. We didn't agree. He told us. Mm. He's holding us hostage. (laughs) He's got a knife. Send help. (laughs) We're trapped. (laughs) Excellent. Excellent. Now that they'll never believe you're actually trapped. Um, So... Yeah, that's so nobody's a mist born, but you are you can be mislings. That was the point. Anyway, I'm gonna go back and get my banana chocolate chip cinnamon bun. Yeah, future me, get more of those, they're amazing. <laughs> banana chocolate chip cinnamon bun. What a flex! <laughs> mm. Names I, lo- I like the way this is laid out. Mm-hmm. This is it's more. Nice... More things need to be laid out like this. Like I'm, I'm stupid. Like, don't yeah. don't tell me to bounce around. Go no. one at a time for yeah. each of the things I need to fill out. Books books should be idiot proof. They really all make sense. So it's not much. that I'm an idiot. It's sometimes I'm just an idiot. It's yeah. just the sometimes. Yeah. yeah. It should just be there to catch you when you <laughs> are, you know, a bit dumb. <laughs> Yeah, you know, when like you're normal people. When you took a bunch of edibles and now you're eating a cinnamon bun. Peak. <laughs> <laughs> Living it. Uh, so, do you guys have your method? Your Our method is opportunist. Opportunist, yeah. excellent. Concept. Uh, so, what type of... This is for you so specifically. Yes. I was going to say specifically. Us. <laughs> Suspiciously. <laughs> Suspicious. Um so this is for you specifically specifically. <laughs> are you are you a mercenary? Are you a ska? Are you a conjure spy? Are you a rebellious keeper? Uh a m- functionary, a notorious con oh. man, a newly snapped mistling. Should I be doing mistling this? stacked too? On you should pages? be doing it on both pages, yes, ladies and gentlemen. The, so the players are, car- are creating two <laughs> characters. Oh, Lord. That's why I handed you a second sheet. <laughs> oh, Lord. They all have three sheets there in case you don't fuck so. up. Despite Ian, I'm going to have the second one be instead ruin the powers that be yes. rebellion against the government and show how many space it takes up. Hmm. Look, I ain't even mad. You can't with that much food in your face. <laughs> Did I mention, listeners, this is a chocolate ban- a banana chocolate chip cinnamon bun? There is no joy in Crater. He has two children. <laughs> and I love them both. And a beautiful wife. <laughs> and I love her too. But like, is she a chocolate <laughs> banana chocolate chip muffin in my <laughs> face? No. <laughs> she would agree with me. <laughs> um, Target Lord Ruler? Mm. The opportunities. <laughs> but we still need to decide on our crew name. Bubble sheets. 
<laughs> Literally looks at the thing beside him. It's just a <laughs> lamp. What a P tier Griffin. You're right. You're, you're right. Rolling rap. Um. We're all looking around at a lot of options. I'm trying to take inspiration, okay? Don't don't, don't throw us under the bus like this. <laughs> Rebellion Bjorn, but like baby Bjorn. Rebella Bjorn? Yeah, Re- Re- Rebella Bjorn. Done. Done. I need nothing more than that. It's all just right. stupid enough. <laughs> Rebella Bjorn. So, and then I A J O R N? Rebellia. 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 Rebellion. Rebellion? <laughs> I, don't have I just, don't have I just, I just spelled rebel, then put an I at the end of it, and then put Bjorn. <laughs> rebel Bjorn. The Rebella Bjorn. <laughs> Rebellion. I'm Rebella like, Bjorn. I'm like trying to spell it phonetically, and you're just like, I'm gonna thought we just smoosh it. <laughs> makes sense to me. <laughs> it makes sense to me. No. <laughs> No disagreement over here. Okay. So you guys are working on what type of what's your uh, concept? Is concept on there? Yes. Hmm. hmm. It's, it, we actually get a, a big space for it. Hmm. All right. So concept is. Oh, uh, I know what the first one is. My first one. So these are the, some of the suggested ones here. Super handy. Mm-hmm. Loving it. Um, I have, I have that. The, the my second character is going to be the noble down on their luck. Okay. Because you, because the concept we discussed with the whole exiled. Yes. Thing. I haven't decided their gender, so I'm going with there right now. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're going to have one of each. So, Again, with changing up the character and stuff, you can make whatever you want. Would and, mine yeah. follow under what I was thinking about being, like, a tradesman? Would that a laborer brook pushed over the rink, brink? Because mm-hmm. you, you're you're a, you're a contracted laborer. Yeah. And you were pushed too far because you're yeah. you're not like because you don't own anything if you're Scott. Scott don't own things. Scar are owned. <laughs> yeah, Scar are owned. This book has, spoiler alert, lots of slavery stuff in it. Lots of caste system. It gets pretty brutal, folks. It's not... Well, it's it's going to be a dark concept. My main character is pretty chill. Oh, you might be an escaped plantation worker. I was thinking that... Uh, one of mine, like my main... No, no I like... A disgraced noble bastard. Ooh, and yeah. my second is going to be an indentured alamancer. Ooh, that gives you some interesting connection and stuff. Oh, right? Damn. Like, I'm technically owned, even though I'm out in the field. I'm going to take you labor. I mean? I'm supposed oh, to be doing work for someone work. else. Oh, yeah, no, you yeah. work for yeah. one of the noble houses. Exactly. They bought you. I, yes, they own, they, <laughs> they, they own her. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to be an escape plantation worker. And even though she's working with you guys. It's Basically, it means so. they probably have her family somewhere. Uh, I'm going to change torture. the mm-hmm. plantation oh, that's worker. that's fantastic. <laughs> I, but not really. No, no, no. That's no, the no. opposite of yeah, yeah. This is bad day. I mean, escape, but, but yeah, camp. strong That's... emotional tie is good because story, yeah, yeah. Story. story for the story for the story. story for my second character. I would mm-hmm. probably fall perfectly underneath the uh, newly shaped Mistborn, right? Except newly snapped. snapped Mistborn. Yeah, your character won't be he Mistborn at the start of this. So that so their concept new... will change when they snap into Mistborn. Yeah. Okay, so, so that would work, right? Yeah. Well, no, not really. what are you before you're a snapped Mistborn? Uh, I was going to be a noble. Yeah. There's a disgraced so, noble. So you disgraced noble, a... You can be a not disgraced noble. You can be an Eden reasonably oh, standard... There's an idealistic young nobleman. Yeah. You could, Or you could be legit like a noble in decent standing, but... Just again, the risk to you goes up drastically from being one of the million ska workers that nobody cares about, and you're just kind of squirreling yourself away doing a rebellion. All right. Like nobody's going to notice or really care because you're a nobody. 
to I'm a high up nobleman and I'm a doing a rebellion. That's people are going to notice you and you're going to have to have your diplomatic position is very changed. So you can be a fully like credited nobleman, but you, there are flaws like being an even a, being a disgraced nobleman has different because you'll have some connections, but you'll also a disgraced nobleman. So you'll have some disconnections. It's every one of these concepts comes with pros and cons. Okay. I think with mine because it was it, before it was like a worker, but um, with the, the escape labor camp. So I was happy in my life being a labor camp worker. Our labor camp was what you would call progressive. For, yeah, for, <laughs> progressive. You know, there weren't people murdered once a week. You know, like people. Some of the you know some of us ended up actually living to a relatively old age. You know, we weren't given food that was moldy. We weren't. Damn. Yeah, it was it was pretty nice. That's real nice. Right? But then it's a luxury camp. But then our lord, our noble, ended up dying and it passed down to their like greedy, evil like son who loved mm, you know, yeah. the, the the copulent the copulent oh, absolute decadence at any cost. Yeah. So it's like we started like, you know, people started dying. We you know there there's more rules started and then you know, the straw that broke the Maybe yeah. a camel's back. Yep, yeah. It was like just like you know, the lack of food, the lack of care that was provided a lot, like all the people. It's like I, I was happy. Like I, my life sucked, but I didn't know any better. <laughs> Turns out that my life wasn't good, but it sucked. It, it like it sucks now. So by comparison, that time frame was great. Yeah. And then that's when the whispers, that's when they started actually carting in new new people to work on the camp and then I finally heard rumors of like you know the rebellion because there'd been no discontent at the camps before. I no talk. Quite yeah. liking this idea of the bounty hunter from the Burnlands. Okay, but for it. I I don't know the whole storyline. You know, so like who comes from the Burnlands? You know what I mean? Like, uh, what are my character options? To I mm, that's a. Def- <laughs> <to burn. laughs> is Burnland season one or book one or two or three? Because there's there's a eras one and two of Mistborn. Yeah, Burnlands might be era two. I'm thinking that's era two. I could be mistaken. Um, but we we could just be I'm like we can sure. assume it's like a heart you know, out outside yeah, the like Empire's Reach but hard to survive well, there's nothing outside the Empire's Reach but it's like the, it's but also, yeah you're on the fringe it, yeah. yeah it'd be I don't know if it's actually Burnlands in this in this era but <clears throat> yeah you could be from like a fringe like outer uh, nobility hard to survive it, you could again there'll be different eyes on you because you'll be like why is this guy here what's he doing is he trying to create favor bounty hunter <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but why yeah, but you noblemen noble? aren't normally bounty hunters. That's, that's not a, a, that's a, a, well, the, the noble okay. factor well, means I, the guy has eyes on you. Yeah. My idea is kind of going, okay, so if the whole um concept is I'm a bounty hunter from the, the burn lands, um You could be a half noble bastard, easy pie. Yeah, I guess that would with no powers. I mean you could well, be technically a full noble, but like as far as anyone cares, if you're from the middle of nowhere, you're Basically. Well, what if I'm like at the bottom of a barrel, you know, noble? So, like, you know, I could still, yeah. I could still You're play. Technically noble. I'm technically yeah. noble. Absolutely disgraced. But, you know, my yeah. whole pull and influence God. is is pretty much non existent yeah. because sure. they're like. If you want to be a noble, be a noble. Disgraced noble. It's not even. You can, you don't have to use these. You can make up your own. No, but I'm liking the yeah. idea of, you know. Disgraced noble bounty hunter. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Cool. Because then, then we don't have to pick an area. We don't have no idea what the concept yeah. of it is. Yeah. So you're you're a noble who, yeah, you're down on money, so you're a bit disgraced, and so you've taken up because you're because your house has all but been yeah. dissolved. So your your father you, had gambling debts. Yeah. You're t- you've taken up bounty hunting, and you're killing rebel ska, or you're like killing renting your land, or out. you're going to the ska and you're killing nobles, which is an interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've got my two. Okay. Yep. 
Oh, I'm going to put yeah. exile on I'm down mountain. the red line on both. Lines. Okay. Every hero benefits from answering 10 important questions. Ooh. Right. Question one. Why did you join the crew? So, what kind of thing? Well, I'm going to do one A and B. Because that character A and character B. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know where these 10 questions go. I, th- I think it's just to like build up. Oh, this is your uh, no, you answered to this question in your drive trait. Oh, your drive. Yeah. Okay, so these should be like pretty short. That's what it says here, yeah. Like one to three words, it looks like. So yeah. why did we join the crew? Yeah. And five seems to be the max. Yeah. Anyway. Give or take. But yeah, some well, short and to the point. Why why did you join the crew? Was it revenge? Rescuing mm-hmm. someone? Um, just because you felt like it would benefit you. Um, do you have, yeah, is, why did you join the crew? Oh. What things did it, now was it, did it offer you? Now I have, uh, my ultimate purpose that I had or is that something else that we're... Your ultimate purpose is your the purpose oh. ultimate. <laughs> so not the drive. No. Okay. So your drive is... Like, your ultimate purpose is your goal. Yeah. Your drive, apparently, is, like, what drives well, you why, to... Why, why, you, why you did it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, had, I had here to um, avenge my father's death. Nice. I'm here for revenge, too. <laughs> revenge! <laughs> revenge. Yeah. Liberate my camp. <laughs> Excellent. Um, um, hold on, hold on. That's my first one. Oh. Second character is... Oh, I like that one. Become the top noble house. But, you know, like, good people. For good nobles. Be a good noble. Reach the top without having dirty hands? Oh, boy, do I have news for you. Murder hobo. I didn't say without being dirty, just being good people. <clears throat> okay. And, and then, how oh. how did you live before joining the crew? I wrote it in the wrong way. Which character. should be fairly easy for all of you guys. And you wanted us to write this in ink. <laughs> you could have also just been better. I wrote it on the wrong page. <laughs> so, and this is so when you say, how did we live, do you mean like, how did we make our living? Profession. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, <clears throat> yeah what, was, what was your job? How did you survive? What was your... Yeah, life is hard in Skadriel. No matter where your character come from, it's a safe bet. They're a survivor. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, so can we go back to where the drive? Yeah, your your old. Because I'm job trying to figure out source. the uh, the bounty hunter drive. Oh, just um, call restore my arm. Yeah. Restore um, stability to my home. I like so, that. Restore stability to my home. Yeah. Okay. Well, my first guy, uh, Kronk, Kronk with a chip on his shoulder. Is definitely going to be. I want to say farmer, but there's nothing more than farmer. But it's it's more than labor. No, I was a laborer. No, that that's it. Yeah, labor. And then my secondary character. This is going to be the doing. So he was a noble. He is going to be a scholar. Because he learned, you know, the noble teachings. And learned how to, to, to tinker and play with things. And I'm pretty sure Bill learned how to, Yeah, and then, yeah, a learned, learned about logistics and well, stuff. The, and learned uh, how to listen. The indentured Alan answer is a spy. Yeah, that makes sense. The disgraced noble bastard is a professional gambler. <laughs> oh. AKA, he didn't really have much of a job oh. at all. Is... <laughs> Nice. Having so I see, you know, fixer is a is a part of it, but I had written down, you know, builder slash fixer because yeah. Well, well, again, we you can move these around. Yeah. Okay, builder. Yeah. yeah you, can say, you can say yeah. These well, are just some erasers. So how did you enjoy, we'll um, what special skill did you bring to the crew? 
So, you know, what's your... This isn't necessarily, like, your magic ability. This is, like, are you a safe cracker? Are you one, a one thing fighter? You do. Are, are you, you the demolition guy? Yeah. Are you the driver? Yeah. What's your class, quote-unquote? Or your special your class of special abilities? It's a specialty. Um, I want to say commit. That's not it. Um, an enduring force. Let's go, uh... Sturdy build. Is that uh, no? Is 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 an enduring force okay? Yeah, sure. No, I'm one step. No, no, no. That, sorry, no. I shouldn't do that differently. Because it's an actual. That's more of like um, a description. He's an imposing presence. Yeah, that's, that's an imposing presence. Yeah, mm. that makes sense. And then that way, yeah. So like, are you an accountant? Are you a tactician? Yeah, so like, my, just my presence is like I'm a big scary dude, but I I am literally just like I'm I'm ch- mostly chill, mostly chill. Like I just want I just want to go home. This is a lot of work. That's fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be a veteran pickpocket. Um, nice. I'm gonna say. With being like a builder fixer, probably a talent, maybe talented researcher. I'm going to be a skillful manipulator and leave that to other people to interpret how I do okay, it. Because okay. I tinker with things and I'm into yeah, uh, yeah, researcher or craftsman. You're like a talented craftsman. I like that. Yeah, talented craftsman. Because that, that gives you... Yeah. A skillful manipulator right. and an imposing presence. Um, what is your most distinctive feature? Do you smile... Is it your face? Is it your eyes? Is it... Um, I'm sturdy. That's where I got mine from. That's what it was. Tiny frame. Nice broad. Uh, yeah, disheveled. Sturdy. I, yep, I that's built fair. all sturdy. day long. Fancy accent. Wild gestures. I would say... Speaks in slang. Wiry. No. Wiry. I'm falling behind on my other one. <laughs> And got this. I'm going to take highly fashionable. We, and then the Alamancer is going to be a deep thinker. Nice. It's funny because he's with the way that I was going to like be building him. I, no, I, I like feel why. like it's going to be like he's very boisterous on the mm. surface. Yeah. Which is why you're like, ah, yes. And then he's going to be like, oh. And they're going to be like, oh. No, no, it's like, um, nice. It's, um, how do other people describe your personality? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Special T. Um, <laughs> oh, maybe this wasn't the best. Tracker? It's a lot of things to run down. Tall and dark. Um, so that, so that tracker would be a specialty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, oh. This is going to be. Um, oh, I am highly fashionable. Nice. You're also highly fashionable. We're all highly fashionable. <laughs> it turns out. It turns out when you look this good, everyone all look on this fleek. good. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. These don't need to be crazy. I don't know if we're gonna get all ten of these. <laughs> There's a lot. Let's go. Let's skip ahead. <clears throat> Personalities next. To define your strengths. That's the next one on here. So, having those questions answered, um, defining your powers. So, powers. <coughs> your powers determines whether you have magical or superhuman abilities. If so, what options are available, and that kind of stuff. So, basically, you're going to choose of the three powers. Um, oh, yeah, powers is going to give you what your um, attributes get when what they are. So basically, is your character a nobody? If your character is a nobody, (coughs) they start with uh, two additional traits and they have weak powers. If your character is a single Alamancer, then they start with average powers. And they have a rating of five in one metal 
and a stunt, one stunt. If you're a Chondra, you have an average rating and you get some Chondra bonuses. And then if you're a Mistborn or, or a Keeper, it's a strong rating of power, which, yeah. So are, are your character basically choose, are they weak, average, or strong power level? Uh, I think judging from my, I don't think we can be strong because none of us are Mistborn. You could be a Keeper. Keepers are considered strong as well. What are Keepers? Keepers are the ones who store medals. They're the ones who hold medals on them. They can do the so aging like, thing. We we had a full um, argument about aging chem. yesterday. Yeah, ferrochemist people. Yeah, okay. Ferrochemist. Well, I'm gonna go keepers. with. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a ferrochemist on either of my things. Yeah. So no misborns. No misborns at the start. Yeah. So power is average. Where do I write that? I'm good. Yeah. Did I pick two types of val- alamancy? Yeah, you were going to be a smoker and a soother, I thought. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Because oh. you liked the idea of being able to, like, just block everybody. With so what would, that, what would that equate to? Strong? That'd be weak. Oh, be weak? Yeah. Okay. You start out weak. If you're going to level into something, yep. then you, you start out weak. You have to start out as a uh, nobody special. Okay, so I'm putting that into... Um, there should the be a spot for powers. Powers, okay. Average powers. I have... Oh, maybe just put it in the blue there. Just put, av- like, just, like, literally in that line, because this is, this is what determines your attributes. So, yeah, just put it average, weak, or strong. Okay, so for now, mine's going to be weak. And then... Um, Taylor, because if you're any or anyone who is weak, your character um, has no special powers but gains two additional traits instead. So you'll end up getting two traits. So we just got to make sure that you get those. Now, um, would this change? Would this, no. Can this change or? No. So you, you get the two additional traits because you're going to spend so much XP leveling into that. Mm, okay. You get the extra bonus of, yeah. Okay. Alamancy, an Alamancy rating of five. Yeah. So if you put, if you're an Alamancer, you have an Alamancy rating of five in the medal of your choice, and you gain one stunt of your choice with that medal. And we'll see those pages later. Uh, Two sixty nine. I am a pewter arm with one guy and a. So he is zinc. No. Smoking? Copper. No, smoking's copper. What's soothing? Uh, bronze? Or zinc? Uh, oh, I have it. I have it. I have it. I deliberately pulled this up. I want to say it's zinc. Zinc? Iron is cold. Uh, Pewter is... Infl- no, zinc is in flame. So it's got to be brass. Brass is soothers. All right. Yeah. Zinc is rioters. You're correct. Yeah. Okay. All right, so steel alamancer for one. Um, you said what was uh, for weak and strong? Uh, just put it beside your powers. Um, for the weak one, you gain two additional traits. So under your traits, no, no, I'm talking for my other character. Oh, for your misborn? No, for not the, for your misling. The... Yeah, the one that for the builder, one. builder fixer guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's a pusher. Pusher. So yeah. he so, if so you automatically your get character gets a s- single elementic power of steel. Steel. Yep. That's and what it's I was going rating for. five. Rating five. With one stunt, but that's to be and then one stunt. Later. Yeah. I just, so you, I'm just putting a thing to write yeah, that just later. Put a dot, and then your other character gets two additional traits because that one so has just no. Put magic. two dots between. Where's your tra- yeah? In two, traits are up here. Yeah. You get to write like two additional traits. Like you can add specialty, a feature, a personality. Oh yeah, yeah. Which can all be used to add situational dice and yes. situational bonus. So do do plus in the green there. Do plus two. Just right in the green section right here. Yeah. Just write like plus two. Because you get plus yeah. two for being magicless. Yeah. Neat. Okay. Attributes. Um. So now you're going to choose your attributes. 
Um, so physique is physical, fitness, speed, strength, agility, endurance. Charm is, you guys all know what charm is. You all know what wits is. You know that. You know, uh, so that's your attributes. Okay. Standings are, um, what are your standings? Resources, influence, and spirit. So you have attributes and standings. So attributes are your physical and mental kind of things. And standings are like your situational, social. social, that kind of stuff. Okay. And like spirit is like a fate, metaphysical, survive the odds, luck kind of a. Okay. Yeah. Are we starting at average attributes? So you start, well, if you're a mistling, yeah. you start at average. If you're a keeper, you start at strong. And if you're... No, wait, no. No, no you pick. No, you don't pick. What is... I thought if you pick one, you have to pick the other. What, what does it say... Doing powers. Does anyone see? Any of strengths? Chosen key. Um, is attribute standing? Oh, your powers. answers to questions six and eight have already established your tr- character's true gifts. Your attributes: one should already be labeled strong, one should be average, and one should be weak. Uh, so yeah, you get to pick one. Between attributes, standings, and powers. Mm, resilience. Only only one can... So that's the third. That's what I was missing. Okay, so there's average, strong, and weak. And then there's average, strong, and weak for powers, attributes, and standings. So you can pick for your attributes and your standings. You Those of you who have um, at weak uh, powers... They can be either average or strong. So okay. choose if you have weak power. So I think it's just Taylor. Yeah. Well, one character has weak power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Okay. The, the one character has weak powers. Yeah. Okay. It says weak besides powers. Now, beside attributes, you can either write the word strong or or average. Strong is going to give you 13 points to work with. Average is going to give you 11 points to work with. Uh, I'll go strong at uh, for. So strong for that's going to go for the either attributes, which will be devised between your physique, charm, and wits, yep. or standings, which is devised between your resources, influence, and spirit. Okay. And then those of you who picked average for your power, you get weak and strong. Yeah. Okay. So put the words there. So that's going to be strong and attribute for the silly homie, and that's going to be strong. And standing for the disgraced noble. Yeah. And that just means how many points we so, actually get to yeah, allocate. Yeah. Well, it's how many dice, because it's you're rolling many dice, right? Well it's how many, but you still get we still get the points. Yeah, yeah. To put the in point, yeah. Okay. okay. So Alright, I'll go strong for attributes, I guess. Strong attributes. And then okay. Medium standing. Which means average standings. That's pretty good. All right, now, um, in attributes, you can divvy up points. You can you must put at least two into everything. And you have, if you're weak, if you're weak in attributes, you have nine points to spend. If you're strong in attributes, or if you're average in attributes, you have 11. And if you're strong, you have 13 points. And again, you must put at least two points into everything. Gonna have to have you run that past me again. All right, all right. Got- What's your attributes? <clears throat> strong, strong, strong for attributes. Right. Strong for attributes. Average so you for have, standing. You have thirteen points to divide by three. Okay. You must put two in everything, which means you cannot exceed six in one of them. Okay. Well, no, no. It means you also lose six points right off the bat from your thirteen. Because you have to put yeah. at least. Yeah. So you have seven, yeah. you have seven points left to distribute. Yeah. As you please. Yeah, but you can't like you can't put all seven of them. No, into no, no. One you can't min max. Yeah. That hard. And you, you your can, highest is six. Your highest is six if you're strong. Physique. Okay. okay. And this is for standings too. So just where it says strong on your thing, you have thirteen points. Nothing can exceed six. Six. 
So like three physique, six charm, and four wit. Three physique. If it's strong. Six charm and four wit. Equaling yeah, up to 13. Yeah, yeah, because nothing can exceed six. Equaling up to 13. So he's my guy's gonna be absolutely <clears throat> dumb as a brick, but boy howdy is he great at talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> so just six charm? Uh no, six physique, because he's still super strong. Oh yeah, yeah. And five charm. Five charm and two wits. Two wits. Just Excellent. dumping wits. <laughs> he is <laughs> thick as brick, but that brick is Wits made of mar stop. the prettiest marble. The darn prettiest I ever seen. He's just one of those people, he, he oh, oh, people open up to him. He's just so genuine. Excellent. Um, And then if you're average, you split. And again, do this for your attributes and for your standings. Um, If you're average, you split 11 points with nothing exceeding five. And that, But that doesn't work for powers. No, powers is just you got the extra. So you picked strong, average, or weak. Yeah, well, you automatically get average powers and if then, you're like us, the mislings. Yeah. yeah, and then you, because of that, you gained a rating and different things, or you gained bonuses, right? Minimum of uh, two. two still. Yeah, two. yeah, yeah. yeah and because, weak is nine points, right? And uh, what weak does, is nine points. What correct. does the spirit govern? I can't remember. Spirit governs. I think it's uh, resistance to like mental stuff and uh spirit is your fate connection to the metaphysical and ability to survive against the odds. Your luck. Um yeah, it's luck. It also is works to your willpower. Which is yeah, it's your so Dumping you have influence. resistance. Resistance is like your um Oh no, he's blessed by the gods. Is your health well Resistance includes your health, your reputation, and your willpower, which are all things that can fluctuate. Right. It's it's the damage you take. If you go down to zero in health, you die. If you go down to zero in reputation, you probably end up dying too. And if you go down to zero in willpower, you kind of end up dying. You don't have the will to live. Yeah, yeah. At the very least, your adventure is over. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. As far as I'm aware. I could double check all that, but... I'm pretty sure it's we're, if it we're going to go with it's the harder system like it's it's going to be hard on the character so yeah it's going to be basically like you have three ways to die. All right. So main character our first character is going to be a 6 in physique, 5 in charm, now and a 2 in wits, mm -hmm. and then a 2 in resources. Because he's weak in this, so I only get three points to play around with. Yeah. A two in influence and a five in spirit. He is blessed by the uh, gods. So, you might not. Oh, be, no, you can't. No, I have yeah, to go to four. Go, I was going to. So say. I'm going to bump up uh, resources by one. Four. And bring resources eight, to three. Nine. Yeah. You were saying if I was average in powers, I was again medium or strong in. If I was medium in powers, you were medium in powers. You were strong and weak. Strong and weak. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'm weak in my attributes. Mm. Oh wait, you can you can take. You don't have a minimum of two. It's just you have a maximum. No attribute may exceed four. Yeah. No, you yeah. must oh. dedicate at least two points to yeah. each. Oh, yeah, you yeah, can't, yeah. You can't yeah. not do something. Yeah. You have to be as average as a human yeah. can be. Yeah. <laughs> or a person can be. Um, this one's going to be... He's not that charming, but he's very witty. Oh, no, I'm weak, so I have to do that. Yeah, but this is... This, how do you get eight for that number, though? That's weird. Okay, so my first one, my attributes, which are weak this time, are going to be a two. Okay. No, a three. Then, physique. for those of you who are ready, two and charm. You can choose your race because there's actually, like, yeah. Um, so you could be a noble, a ska, or a terrace person. Um, and yeah, or a chondra. But none of you are conscious. So choose noble or ska or noble ska slash ska or terrace. 
Oh, weren't you going to make a... Sh- oh, no, that was that was a different concept. Never mind. Both of mine are going to be half noble ska. Yeah. In the race. Says, uh, choose a name. Uh, do you want, There's some ska names and noble you, names. You are a straight noble born. So no exiled. Pick and- a name for your character. And... And you are going to be a pure-blooded ska. Hmm. Wait, can you have powers as a ska? You cannot have powers. No, no, no. You, you have, with elemental powers, can be either a noble or a ska. Oh, okay. So I can be a full-blooded yeah. ska. That's that's what I was going to be for the builder. Yeah. Okay, so our health is our physique and our resources. Oh, is it just calculated across? Oh, well, that's really very good. Oh, yeah. wow, that is. Super easy to just calculate it across. I was wondering where those scores came in. Yeah. We do have to keep talking because we are being recorded. Yeah, make sure there's that's no un- empty That's space. unfortunate. The, the, the last empty space, the last editing needed. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, I <laughs> think... Um, I don't know if this was necessarily the bestest idea. I think it's working great. I, hopefully listeners at least glean something. They, they're super crazy. <laughs> yep. Yep. Now, I, <laughs> I put some work in for my... Builder's first name, Czar Edmund. Now, from what I could understand, they basically com- they have like the long official name, mm-hmm. you know, Czar Edmund. Yeah. Um, but they have a short, you know, quick quick word. Yeah. That's yeah. a part of the main 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 name. So I'm just going to be called Red. Czar Ed. Mm-hmm. Mon- so you're you, so you're Red. Red. Yeah. Red. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah. Everybody's um, got names? Almost. Yep. On one. Okay. Then you everybody set the resiliences. Because that's super easy. Y'all can do simple his math. Name is, his name is Falconar or Falk? Falconar. That's fair. That's fair. That we're Falk for um, short, because he's a full ska. And then the noble. That's what I was gonna ask too. Nobleman. We're choosing props. So props are permanent items, much like in, uh, what is it, uh, fellowship. You keep, like, you don't always need to be like, I have a sword. Like, if you're the sword guy, and you just, you, you shouldn't need to tell your GM or DM or whatever, like, I pick up my sword after you throw your sword at a monster. No, you all, you're the sword person. You have your sword in hand. Like, it doesn't... It's silly to always be like, you've left your sword in the alley because you didn't say you picked it up after you threw it. No, that's dumb. That's dumb and no one wants to play with you. I'm sorry, but it's true. And I'm not sorry about it. <laughs> um, so it's Get taking the, the statement like, unless there's a very specific reason... Props are things you just have on you at all times. You have this because it is a part of your character. Your character does not function without it. So therefore, unless there is a storyline good reason, you have it. Like a nobleman who has a horse and carriage. That's part of, that could be a prop. But that's like that's part of their identity. Is there no one as that guy who has that really nice horse and carriage or that really shitty horse and carriage or like you know, it's an indiscreet horse and carriage, so you can get around safely. Like the characters wear the same outfit yeah. every day for a reason. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, it's so that we can see them and know that they're the protagonist. It's their, <coughs> yeah. Um. So props. Most props are considered one point. Um. However, sometimes they can be worth more points for example there are you know large things that are worth more like more points because they're just they're just too large um so there are props on the book pages but like it's you know lock picks metal supplies a disguise set some jewelry um is props off of our resource a metal vial, 
a misling metal vial versus a misborn metal vial, right? So those are th those are probably the props. And you get props equal to the number of resources you have. So the number of resources is the number of props. Okay. So I would have... Any and all of you... Hold up. Any and all of you who are misling. So that's six out of the five characters, or five out of the six characters. Six out of the five. Oh, boy. Yeah, they um, take a vial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone who's a misling needs to take a misting vial. And you can put down beside it that a misling vial contains three charges of your chosen metal. And this counts as two props. It's a two? Um, My guy is broken. F. <laughs> oh, wait. No, it might not be a two. Sorry. Hold up. Narrated, oh. The narrator may let you choose from a broader selection of metals if more have been discovered. This may depend on when your story is blah, 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 blah. Um, Choosing these items may reduce your maximum prop by one or even two if the narrator determines it. This additional metals um, are partially powerful or scarce. Okay. So it it only counts as one. Your misling vial. Okay. Yeah, misling vial only counts as one, but it's th and it's three charges of a chosen metal. Hmm. Yeah. Um, now, one of the props I was thinking for my character was, yeah. was train spikes. I was um, classifying yeah. them as probably, you know, they're a medium, a medium sized item, or would you still like, consider that, you know, a small? Yeah, it's medium to small. Like, how many train spikes? Train spikes are heavy and loud. How many train spikes are you keeping on you? Mm. Yeah. That's a good, good question. Like, um, right? Like, is it is it, you know, I have a train spike in each shoe? Okay, that's not too bad. Like, it's slid into your shoe. Um, or is it, I have a train spike in each shoe, a train spike up each sleeve, and four train spikes taped to my chest? Like, mm -hmm. where are, like, yeah, I see like, you can that. have train spikes. I'm totally down. You mean, like, under a cloak, you could be Mr. Train Spike with all these train spikes glued to you. Like, <laughs> fine. You're, I think you're a pusher, though. So, yeah. Yeah. So, it make more sense to be, like, have train spikes glued to you if you were a puller. Because then you just keep pulling them and <laughs> you. Um, what would the, an iron mallet cost? An iron hammer. An iron hammer? It'd yeah. be just one point. It's just a, it's a hammer. I'm thinking, a like, hammer. Like, I'm thinking like a laborer's hammer, like something. Yeah, no, something. You, you have a yeah, you have a hammer. Okay, so it's, it's a hammer. Preferably metal, if that's allowed. I want it yeah, to be a metal, metal, metal hammer. hammer. Yeah, no, that's fine. Is that my child? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Tag out. Hold up. Yeah, you guys gotta keep talking about your props. Hammer metal. I believe in you. Mm -hmm. Um Main lady. Larger oh than fist. It's a bigger than a fist sized mallet. Yeah. Because I think like a special skill was like I was able to drive in nails in one go. We're almost the same character. <laughs> no, but I, I push <laughs> or, I, I, or I pewter. So He's a pushman. I'm a pewter guy. Okay. So I, I just I boost my own strength. See, like, because with my push, I was going to go the whole... Yeah, I just pushed in these nails and screws and things like that into as, with my powers as I worked. My physique is strong. <laughs> um, that's my other prop. I get one more. What do I want? What does the laborer have? I have a metal mallet. I like, I like mallet better as a descriptor. Because hmm. it's simple. It's just a piece of wood inside of a metal block. I will probably... Mm. Nails? Do you think nails and... They would be separate, probably, like if you had a bag of... Well, yeah, I, I, have, have I have enough points for two more resources, so that's why I'm just trying to figure out, do I want... What would be something hmm. I would have left over from labor scam? Like, I had a bunch of, like... Either my fellow family laborers die, I'm all angry, 
swearing revengeance Nails. against me. So I just want their life for them. Maybe Out of sea? Oh, a farmer. Hmm. As a builder slash fixer, you feel like having rope on me pretty much would be rope or twine, like string. What about chain? I'm gonna take a knife. What are you thinking of taking for props? I'm thinking on the way I got the train spikes. I've got the um, uh, that's a hammer. Um nails and then i'm just trying to think like you know as a builder like would i have like rope or chain or you know yeah again these are things you have on you at all times remember right this yeah is, this is like, like, like your gear this is like your when, gear. when someone draws your character they always draw you with this on your person yeah mm-hmm. which is again it's fine to take railroad spikes it's fine to take hammers but remember like if you get like if guards are patting you down in the streets you have this on you. Mm-hmm. You need to make sure you have a reason to have this on you. I'm a builder. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, yeah. no, like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, this yeah. is... But if I was, like, carrying a sword, no, if I was carrying gonna, a yeah. big sword, they'd concealed. be like... It's specifically concealed that, that, so that they don't find it when they pat me down. Because yeah. yeah. that's the point of a murder knife. Murder oh. knife! Um, I have just, like, a, t- a tool belt, but not, like, a tool belt with, like, <clears throat> craftsman uses. Like, a tool belt just to hold a bunch of sh- Okay. Like, like, just like hooks and pouches. Cause yeah. Like, tool belt. Sure. Yeah. Simple tool. There's belt. no tools on it, right? No. Yeah. Yeah. Like empty tool belt. Or yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's like it's like what I ran yeah. away from. From yeah. I like ran away. I should have had the mallet I was working with. Yeah. The misling vial that was left to me from like one of the pl- people who couldn't survive. Oh no! The, the mislings you vials you have to keep getting more of. No, it's it's a, it's a prop. Yes. No, but like, like it's a you prop. Gotta re- you gotta refill it. Yeah, that's it, fine. it's a prop that refills because it misling vial is basically what a misling vial is. Is it's like a little tube the size of like your thumb, and it has powdered metal or like small metal ingots in suspended in water, and the misling just kind of swirls it and dumps it. Mm-hmm. And, I'm gonna make a pass. Pickies. Yeah. And that's. And you just down it, and then that's the metal you burn in your gut, and it burns up and dissipates. There we go. And tool belt can hold tools, hold things. <laughs> is its rules, mm. and it is a prop. So that's all three of my props for my main character. Yeah. Secondary character, missing vial, takes up a prop slot. Done. So I need. Um, yeah. What is you got the fancy list there? What is like a. Something skookum, something a noble, even if they were exiled, would have. Mm, something a noble? Yeah, a something A dueling skookum. cane? Oh, that sounds sassy, because then it'd be a trick. I could be like, throw the sword out of the cane and have it pull back into its sheath. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like, I like that a lot. That's good. That's a tour. Dueling, uh, dueling cane is one. If you want it to be a sword inside the dueling cane, it'd be two. I will take that. That, okay. is, that is a gift from the... my parents for my coming of age before I was, you know, distasteful. That's bad. That's so, bad. Okay. my resource is four. Yeah. So, oh, train so spikes bad. count as two. That means I only have two more to play with, right? Uh, train spikes is one. The missing vial is one. The tra- train, train spikes is one. one. Missing so, vial is two. No, no, no. I have train spikes, hammer, nails, and thick rope. Train spikes, hammer, nail, and thick rope? Yeah. And you have a five? No, that's a four. Four. You need a misting vial in there. Why? Because <laughs> to you use your you, power. To use your power. If you don't take misting vial, you will have to do like excursions to get a misting vial. Um, can <laughs> okay, be... uh, no nails. <laughs> um, could it be like instead of just a cane? Because that feels a little. It's a place. dueling cane. A dueling cane? You don't know what a dueling cane I is? I do not know what a dueling cane is. Okay, so a dueling cane was back in the, like, Middle Ages. They had pimp canes that they strolled around with. And when someone was, like, they would, like, hit people, and like, slaves in the back of the head, to like, and be like, Oi, do faster work. And stuff. And then, like, you could also, instead of, like, throwing your glove at someone, you'd hit them with your pimp cane and be like, I challenge you to a duel. And then you'd fight with your cane like a stick. And it was better than killing each other with a sword. 
Okay, I like this so much more. So I will take this still, but <laughs> because it's so distasteful to me, I've like basically like had like vines and stuff wrapped into it, and it's just like this gross like forest covered thing. How do you not know what a because I don't dabble in is. pimp cane terminology, Ian. Yeah, we weren't there at the origin of pimp cane fucking TED Talk, my man. I'm sorry I'm not over oh. here with your bonsai club shining your pimp canes. <laughs> <laughs> that sentence I never knew would be edited. Edder, ed, like, uttered. Uttered. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Ah, yes, the peasants are rising again. I'm going to have to duel them. I'm going to have to duel them. <laughs> Du- 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 duel. I win by this. default. They don't have dueling kings. <laughs> Peasants. <laughs> okay. Uh, help me brainstorm for so, um, my bounty hunter. So I'm thinking, so you know, more of course like he's a bounty hunter. Stick at this point. So, so yeah. he's got a horse. Mm-hmm. He's got to track down his his targets or you know whatever. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what else. What kind now, of weapon? I don't have no idea what kind of a horse. Weapon. A horse is good. I'm yeah. not going to discourage you from taking a horse. 90% of this campaign will probably be sit in the city. Unless you specifically want to do other things, which taking Gandalf a horse... Gandalf rode his horse wherever they will. He damn well please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like... I was also thinking of horse, yeah. actually. I was like, I horse have two is points a, left, is an that's interesting, gotta be a tour. It's a tour. A horse is a tour. Mm-hmm. Um, but... And it will give you guys opportunities to do things. Don't get me wrong. Like, we can summon, summon shadow but, facts whenever we need. But, like, it also draws attention so know that there are again with everything you take there are pros and cons Um, so i just want you to make sure you're aware so that later on you're like why did i get in trouble for running my horse through the middle of the market and it's like because you ran a horse through the middle of the market like i don't i don't know what to tell you here okay is there something like the um like like, this might be a really niche, like, call-up, but is there something, like, you know, in, like, the Chinese, like, cultivation mangas and stuff? Like, I have this nameplate from this, like, very influential, like, guild or family. Is there anything like that I can oh, add? Oh! Like a like signet a, ring yeah, or like something? Yeah, like a signet ring. Yeah, or, like, like a noble like, sig- yeah. You can yeah, have like, a noble yeah. signet ring. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I already put a signet ring on mine. I didn't look it up. Yeah, no. So you could definitely have a signet Cause ring. I, yeah, because I'm not supposed to do it, but I can technically flex. Yeah, yeah. That's I. Pu- I put it on my disgraced noble yeah. too. So he can be like, "Oh, are you some some uh, some other ska?" I'm gonna like be like, "Oh, noble time," and they're gonna be like, "Oh no, I'm trembling in my boots, oh, no. and I don't, I don't wanna invoke your like, wrath." Like I, this would be like I'd use it in small towns where I know like they know me, but they're not gonna be like s- sending out a message. Ooh, look who came to town. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. <laughs> like if I tried to use it in front of any nobles, I would be in prison. Immediately dual cane. Oh yes, I would be dual. <laughs> but in most cases, it'd be like. Yes, you innkeeper. <laughs> yeah. Not the moldy food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like exactly. the slightly moldy food. <laughs> yeah, fun fact. Is that food? the one? Yeah, that the is the one. Okay, I have one more um, point. Food in Scarn? Scarn. Yeah. Skadriel. 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 Uh Scarn are the people, the ska. No, Ska are the people. Yeah, Skarn, Skarn is, is like the area. Uh, no, it sounds like something from magic. Skarn, it's scalding tarn. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's it. <laughs> yeah, well, like that. Skar like... are the people. Skadriel is the planet. Anyways, on Skadriel, there is like seven or eight volcanoes or a ring of volcanoes. Yeah, they have, be... they, yeah, they say like there's basically like natural disasters happening all over. The yeah, continents. yeah, it's really not not a great place to live, like worldwide. Like the capital city is in the center of this ring, and then the like noble domains kind of ring out from that. You have like close nobles, medium nobles, and then far nobles. Yeah. The and then on the fringe is literal again, like I think it's seven plus volcanoes ringing this country, this continent, and just producing ash nonstop. The whole of everything is covered in a layer of ash. If you walk somewhere and it's not covered in a layer of ash, it means they have enough slaves to polish it like twice a day. (laughs) So all the fields are covered in ash. So food is very bland. Flowers are almost non-existent. It's a very sad, ashy, dusty world. 
Like, I'm thinking of cool, useful <clears throat> things, but then you said that, and I'm like, I have a crystal, pres- I have a flower preserved in a crystal. That's been like a family heirloom. That's two. How dare you? <laughs> there is no cultural history or family heirlooms it in this costs setting. Two? This setting is so anti family history. Yeah, and, and anti anti like family. Oh yeah, yeah. Ver- this, it's anti smiles. It's anti history. Yeah. Anti history. Oh, oh yeah. This this setting is very strongly anti history. Unless you're a like oh. high up noble and your history is how great this country is. We, we happy <laughs> America. You remember that? You remember that Ooh. game? We happy few. Yeah, yeah. Where they're not on the the happy kills, everything's dark and bleak and awful. That's yeah. that's what this is kind of reminding me of. Yeah. Well, yeah, they, they're all indoctrinated to believe that this, they're they're given Things the best they great. can have. <laughs> Things are great, and if you say otherwise, we're gonna cane you in the dark. So, now, like, um, question: You were when we were talking about my powers are weak, and I'm gonna be growing into. Um, do I still need a misting vial, or uh, no? Oh, when character. you level. You'll need that. Okay, so I'll, so I'll have to, so I'll have to go off and get one then. Okay. So yeah, like when when you level, you'll do a character rewrite a little bit. Okay. And you'll be able to edit a few things, and that'll change. Like, oh, now I need to like maybe I get rid of my rope, and now I carry a misting vial. Okay. Well, this know. is this is for the uh, the bounty hunter that I've got going right now, because I'm kind of thinking like yeah. I liked I was liking the ideas that they were that like, yeah you know even though I'm I'm noble, but, you know, bottom of the barrel. Yeah. I still have a signet ring to show, you know, I still come from nobility. Um, I tapped it once and it went back hundreds of pages. Would would nobles carry weapons? The wrong one. I tapped it while it changed to Yeah, nobles would carry weapons. What? I, Hell yeah. I'm just trying you to go to, be to other to props. Strike like. fear, respect, and death into the hearts of those who... There like, is. how are you going to kill someone who backtalks you? Yeah, okay. Without a Where he stands. Well, I'm just saying, duly yeah. very well. I mean, duly exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I was um, thinking more of like a... Um, oh, what is it? A rapier? Or no? Um, no, the, in this setting, it's dueling canes. You either have a full-on sword... Or you have a dueling oh, cane. The dueling I'm going to go with the soul word. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. The dueling cane has no metal in it. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, part of why they use it, I'd imagine. Yeah. But I have a sword in mine. So yours has metal in it. Yes. Which is specific, whereas most dueling canes are just ornate wooden clubs. So that uh, alamancers can't grab you yeah. and beat you to death yeah. with your own weapon. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to take craftsman's tools. Um, a fine choice. Because I tinker. Yeah. And oh, the other fun fact about this setting is there's mist mainly at night, but even during the day, there's still a just a, the faintest of faint mists during the day. And then at night, it's so thick that it's like soup. And <coughs> people who are scar, scar, scar fear the mists, they fear slash prey to the mists. Um, the nobles don't fear the mists like the like the ska will lock themselves in houses. The average ska locks themselves inside at, as soon as the mists come out. Mm-hmm. And they stay there until the mists go away. Mm. That's what the average ska does. If not more than the average ska. It's very rare to see a ska out in the mists. Nobles mostly avoid the mists but will go out in them if they like really need to but they also mostly avoid the mists mistborn embrace the mists and are often seen in the mid well seen is hard because they normally wear a mistborn cloak which is like a mist camouflage cloak um mistlings are often found in the mist as well however they're not as comfortable as Mistborns. Like, the Mists are an eerie, weird thing. Gotcha. So, yeah. <coughs> oh, the other thing is, anyone who just took a Misting Vial, um, it's three charges. You could choose to take multiple, mi- like, you can take more Misting Vials. Yeah. Right? Like, it's, yeah. If you want, you could take, like, four Misting Vials and have 12 charges of your power. Yeah. So. Okay, I need. 
I need something. Not if you want to be a flarer. I'm having trouble finding the words. It's different than instantly likable, like like disarmingly. They're affable. They're, they have that there. Is that what affable is? Yeah. Like like people just affable is just, li- just likable. Affable is just likable. Yeah. But yeah, well, but I want to be like almost like when people just open up to have that face, you know, people want to share. Mm, dashing good looks? I don't know. No, it's like emotionally available. <laughs> <It's> emotionally available. <laughs> we all try to role play is what we want to see. Hard on sleeve? Yeah. I think- hard on sleeve. Yeah, you, he has a hard on on his sleeve. Have you he has, seen Kronk? He has to keep, he has to keep his hard on in an additional sleeve. Because it's a personality. You think I have two legs? You know, it's just literally like those plays. Like he's <laughs> just got like that personality. It's not that he's instantly likable because not everyone will like him. But it's just everyone's like, yeah, I can talk to you. Well, but it's more than trustworthy either. either. You can eat them. That's the ones we had last night. Yeah, it's despicable. Because it's like. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll eat a peanut. Yeah. Twist my rubber arm. Would, would you? Would you? T- would you take like? Cons- can I be considerate? Yeah, I don't see why not. Cautious, thought, ma- thoughtful, able to thoughtful. You don't have to be smart to be thoughtful. You just have to. Well, be kind. It's charming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess, maybe I'll just go. With, maybe I'll just go with kind. That's it. Warm-hearted. Warm-hearted. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. Hitting it on the head. Yeah. I knew it was something. I just couldn't put my brain on. And then this guy's personality is um, mousy. I never get to use that. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go through the 10 questions and actually fill them out. What 10 questions? <clears throat> on the um, on the page. Mm-hmm. When you go up, we skipped a bunch of them. I you did the personality trait. Yeah, there was like... Do you have powers? Are you especially fit no. charismatic? Ooh, tragedy. Yeah, what's the worst thing that ever happened to you? Which is tragedy. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't have a tragedy or destiny yet. Or mm-hmm. burden. Yeah. Oh, I know what my tragedy is. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys go through that. I'm going to let the listeners go because this is an hour and 17 now. And I feel like the listeners have listened to a lot. Um, Gives them a rough idea. Yeah, this is an attempt at us attempting something new with this episode. It'll it'll definitely be labeled like skippable kind of thing. Like this is, I don't know how this went, but it, I think it it's worth a try. Um, the next episode will be us actively playing. Um, we're using the Mistborn RPG rules as best we can in the Mistborn setting, book one, as I said. Uh, I was Ian, the narrator. I was Austin, the big and small. <laughs> I'm Taylor. It's fair. Yeah, <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I guess I'm, 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 yeah. And uh, I'm Dylan. And uh, I guess I'm playing the Soother and the Smoker. Excellent. And I'm sponsored by no, or we're sponsored by nobody. Signing off.